So talking of your parents, let's have a look at your next choice. Okay. Some Brilliant. mothers do have them. Brilliant. Accident-prone Frank Spencer, played by Michael Crawford, spends his life going from one calamity to the next. Started in 1973 and ran to 1978. Wow. And this sequence, wasn't this all kind of like... He did all of this oh, himself. he did do his own stunts, yeah. He's such a brave man. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> What a genius, absolute genius. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This incredible roller skating scene is typical of the sheer bad luck that Frank experiences in every episode. Oh, that took some doing, didn't it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah! I can't bear it. Benny, Benny! Benny, I've been articulated! Look at that. <laughs> uh, some others do. I mean, it was, it was quite. It was very physical humour, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I and I loved that. Was yeah. this a show that you all watched uh, as a family? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. And it, it, it just it made us laugh. And you know the put upon <laughs> character of the wife, mm. Betty. Oh, he's going to do this again. It's the the quality of. I can't stop saying that enough. It's the quality of the actor. Yeah. It's just their their training and. And every single moment is made important and special. And it's, for me, what it's details. What do you think it is required of uh, a good comedy actor? Detail. It's the detail. The littlest thing, the littlest look, the littlest... just moment that you can find in anything that you do, mm. that's the genius. That's the bit that's genius. I mean, you've done both. You've done comedy acting, you've done straight acting. Yeah. Um, do you think, what is the toughest? Comedy. By see. far. By far, I'm thinking, you, I mean, you look, I'm sitting next to, I'm sorry, but an absolute uh -huh. legend here. And your, the skills that you guys have is incredible. Mm. And I've learnt from that. I've learnt through watching that. And I believe that I always will. You know, I'm not someone who sits back and goes, yeah, I can do it. I can't. I, I, I'm always fascinated and always want to improve myself. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, it's that ability to be so quick off the mark and know... Exactly what you need to preempt anything that's thrown yeah. at you, you know. It, it's it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Was laughter a big thing? I mean, it, who did your dad have a good sense of humour? Huge sense of humour. He said, but my parents used to just throw really, really fun parties. They had a very fun, very loud friends, mm. and as a kid, you know, we were all allowed to muck in with all the other kind of friends and their kids and all of that, but. The, once it got to like nine and ten o'clock, so off you go to bed, and then you'd hear kind of just laughter the whole time. Then they play cards and just uh, that's what I grew up with. I mm -hmm. grew up with just joy around me, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is a big thing. Oh, if you're coming, a child, it's so it's important. absolutely it is. Frank Spencer is one in a long line of hilarious accident-prone TV characters. Whenever danger comes near, you could always depend on Lance Corporal Jones to deliver his notorious catchphrase, Don't panic! whilst doing just that. Last of the Summer Wines Compo, played by Bill Owen, was often a guinea pig for the boy's latest harebrained scheme. He will go to any length to impress the disinterested Nora Batty. Basil Fawlty, played by the brilliant John Cleese, had an uncanny knack of turning a simple task into an almighty fiasco. The ever-optimistic Del Boy's mantra of he who dares rarely paid off. Lucrative jobs like removing a priceless chandelier often ended in disaster.